Sean Clement here for Golf WRX with Dr. Jeremy Moody. Thank you very much for your assistance Sean, today, sir. Sean, my pleasure. All right. Yeah. So we're talking about grip. Yeah. And that's something that's been near and dear to our hearts in, the, in our last three years of work together. And your tendency, even to this day, is, mm -hmm. to, get, is to get a little weak with the grip. Yeah. And so, you know, if we look at the purpose of what the, what the club is doing in the grip. So uh, let's, look, let's look at something that we do a lot up here is play hockey. Yeah. And if you look at how a hockey stick is designed, it's got a curve on it. Right. And every instrument known to humanity apart from a push broom is designed so that the hands always lead. Right. So this becomes part of your anatomy. So if we look at the, the kinetic chain in, let's say, a, if you're skipping a stone on water, there's your stone. Let's see you skip one out there. So number one, where are you holding it? Show me where you're holding it in your, in your fingers. Look at this, everybody. There is that beautiful V. Notice you'd have to think about that. You see how you're hooking it right into that index finger? Yeah. So there's where you have your kinetic chain. The kinetic chain goes all the way into the fingers. Yep. So you wouldn't be able to throw it very well from the palm, would you? No. So the reason why we have it there is because as you're leading, you notice when you skip that stone, go ahead and do that again. Awesome, look at that. So the first thing the brain does is go get the ground, use the ground to get the body out of the way, and elbow's always leading. So baseball, pitcher, football, everything's slinging from the fingers. So go ahead and take your grip. So that's something that you, you have very nicely here. So there's your V. There's how your index hooks on. You notice how it's a little separated from the other fingers. And then push against my hand. And notice now the fingers that are wrapped around your grip here are actually leveraging against that index finger. Yep. And the whole lead hand here is also leveraging against that. Yep. So you're creating pressure. Well, when you come through the ball, when you're collecting the ball, the ball compresses against that, then the ball takes off. Then the sole of the club comes through grass and ground. So you have to have a very solid grip to be able to get through all that, right? right? Or if you're in thick rough, or you're hitting the driver where you have the least amount of loft and you're gonna get the most amount of compression and ball speed off of that, so you need a grip that's really gonna you know, last the day. Right. So where your issue was, is in how strong do you make the grip, Yeah. right? So if you hold your club out here in front of you, and we said, okay, at first, you remember that? Yeah. I said, oh, you want to close it about this much. Mm. And your eyes went big like dinner plates. And he said, how is that going to happen? Well, I said, okay, well, take a backswing and stop. And come on down in slow motion. There we go. So does that club face look, op uh, look closed anymore? Slightly open now, exactly. isn't it? So because the, the handle leads, and then the shaft, and then the heel, and then the toe, so notice at a dress you were here, at an impact you're here. Yep. Well, there's the hockey stick, right? Right. So there's a curve on the stick so that when the hands go forward, you don't lose the puck. Right. And then you can collect it from further back and get more range of motion so you can sling it, you know, with a lot more authority. Right. Okay. So if your grip is neutral and the face is square and the hands are leading, how in the world are you going to get over there? you're gonna to have to release early just to square it up. Right. So if you feel the need to, to force the club to square up, you know that the original grip that you started with too weak. was too weak. Right. So show me that wonderful draw grip that we've developed. Right? So now you're playing the ball a hair back a center and you're going to release to the right edge of that. Mm -hmm. So go ahead and get that position to release. And notice now, when you got behind the ball, doesn't that club face look a lot less closed? Yep. Perfect. So when you release in that direction, now that you're much more dynamic in your thinking, do you feel now that the ball is going to start on the line that you want it to? Yeah. Perfect. So let's see that nice delivery in that direction. Awesome. So that ball sounded nicely compressed. Yep. So let's see a little more freedom in this next one. Very nice. So that looks neutral 
See, neutral with a, a, a closed face is pretty much like a square face with a two to three knuckle grip. So this is like you're in the strongish range now. Right, okay. Right? So yeah. just, just slightly better than neutral. <clears throat> Perfect. So now let's see it gather and deliver. Oh yeah, very nice. So notice it started on the yep. line that you wanted to, yep. but you hear that compression? Yeah. So it didn't feel glancy at all. It felt really nicely squeezed. And, and I felt the hands weren't tight. You were talking before about a firm grip, but mm -hmm. I, I, I have trouble when I hear firm grip. I think, okay, you've got a really fit, firm. Right. But it's not, it's firm, not. It's secure. Yes. Yeah, yeah. it yeah. feels like, hey, once your hands are on the club, it's, hi, how are you? Nice to meet you. It's, exactly. It's, it's, it's a one piece unit from the shoulder sockets down. So, and it's like you said, you know, your foot is in a position to be ready well, you're secure and you're, you're ready to engage. So when you're delivering there through thick rough, as the, as the kinetic chain kicks in and it starts to develop a lot of G-force, yeah. your grip pressure will intensify. Yeah, right? automatically adjust. Automatically for, adjust, yeah. exactly. Right, right. So it adjusts to what intent? Well, do you have a soft pitch from a fly or lie? Or do you have a, a full out nine iron through thick rough? So just as I described that, you felt the differences in Absolutely. grip pressure. Yeah, yeah, I was going to say. You know, yeah, yeah, it, yeah. Was, it was going the, the already going through your mind. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. So the purpose of your grip is to be able to, you know, once it's set, it allows you to deliver to your target without the need and the, to feel the need to square it up. It yeah. feels like, hey, it feels like when I swing that way, the ball's going that way. Exactly. And that's, that's what you want to sense at address. Right. So if you open the face too much. And if you were going to hit a draw and you wanted to swing in that direction, mm -hmm. what kind of manipulations would you have to make to make it draw? Wouldn't it be crazy? You'd have to come around somehow. Yeah, yeah. You, you have to figure out, you have to do a lot of body, yeah. body manipulations to try and square that up. Yeah. And if the club face was way too closed, because it can be way too closed, so go, show me something that's like, you know, beyond 45 degrees closed, how would you square that up? Exactly, see that? So now you would have to really contort the body and get way out in front of it to try and prevent it from going left. Right. So if you feel the need to hang on to it too much, your, your club oh. face is too strong, your grip's too strong, and that's, oh, I've, I don't see that as often, but I do see that. Yeah. And if you feel the need to, to square it up, then you know it's, it's starting off way too open. Right. Does that make sense? Yeah, perfect. So sense. that last draw that you hit, it felt like, hey, I can go there and not have to worry about it. Exactly. So when you can go there and not have to worry about it, that's when you get the steady head. <clears throat> that's when you get a beautiful timing in your shift and the perfect amount of hip clear because you're now zoned in in the direction you want the ball to go. And I fought with that for so long. I saw videos, I didn't do many, but a few years ago, and it just looked like some alien creature, like the head's moving and the guy's saying, well, don't move your head. And that really wasn't the problem. Well, yeah. <laughs> yeah the problem was it was just doing Super what it was Super weak grip. To do. Yeah, yeah exactly. you were trying to square it I had it to. Yeah. And if I didn't move my head, it was, anyway, yeah. Very good. Exactly. Sean. Thanks, Jeremy. Amazing. Thank you, Sean. All the best. Yeah, thank you.